Hello and welcome to Hey Mister. Hey. Hey Mister. Today is all about this little guy right here. I will be showing you how to install the core manually, just in case your update all script didn't work for you. I'm here to help. Let's get to it. Okay, so this is the GitHub page, the wiki actually, and this is your friend. Um, expecting you really don't know anything like where to find the core. So you scroll down this list and there it is, 32x. And here you go to releases and there's the latest release. Click on it and you can download it right here. And we just save it. And we're done. Mysterious machine has appeared in homes across America. 32. Redouble his power. Go! Just stick it in your genesis. All right, baby. Can we see that again? 32. Let's go! Increase the power of the unit. Increase the power of the unit. Hey, man. Your set was stolen. Dig out! Dig out! Now, how to get the core onto the Mister? So, basically, there are two ways. The most common one, if you have your Mister readily available, then you just get the SD card out, put it into an SD card uh, reader, connect this to your PC, and use the Explorer, the Windows Explorer, to copy the file over. But because I'm using the Mr. Ironclad ITX board in its own case, um, video can be found right here where I build it, um, I am not having easy access to my SD card. So what I am going to do instead is I'm going to use SSH to connect to the Mr. and transfer it over my local network. This here is WinSCP, which is the client I am using for this. There are other SSH clients and um, you just work with what you like. Um, here's the mister, it's all set up. I'm just connecting. And this it is, um, here it is. Basically, um, this is the root level. So what we are going to do is go into media and then we have FAT, which is the SD card. And if you have like a um, hard, uh, hard disk or SSD connected or USB stick, they all get in, uh, they all are listed here under these USB 0, 1, 2, 3, you get the idea. But yeah, SD card is FAT. And this is the same folder structure you're going to see if you just plug the SD card into a reader and connect it to Windows and use the Explorer. So this is your SD card. As you can see, I got two cores on here, Neo Geo and TurboGrafx-16. And to get the Sega 32X core on here, it's just as simple as drag and drop to click um, to copy over. And here it is. So this is part one. Part two is to create a folder where you can store your 32x ROM files. I am going to create a folder. It's important that you use caps. So S32x, both in caps. And this is the folder you can use. However, this is if you want to store the ROMs on the SD card. Um, if you are doing it like me, as I mentioned before, um, external USB drives or hard disks that are connected via a USB interface, they are listed here and I have just that. So I got my Neo Geo ROMs, my TurboGrafx-16 ROMs and all the CDs and I also put the Sega 32X ROMs here. So I made just the same folder and, and put all the ROMs here. And that's already it. Regarde, c'est Chloé. 
ouais, la poupée qui fait à manger. C'est Galance la trompe de X. Clip-la sur ta Mega Drive et tu en prendras plein les yeux. C'est plus fort que toi. Now, grab your USB controller of choice. And here is the Sega 32X core. Okay, so let's test it out. Let's go for this one. Features some really nice music. So, my recommendation is this one. So I'm pretty sure this is the one that will get the most play due to the core release. Welcome to the next level in 32X world. Right. a sound test. Ah, look at this! Okay, where's door into summer? I just love it. <laughs> this one is, I don't know, sort of a hidden gem, I don't know, <laughs> but uh, still an interesting kind of game. So it's basically a mosquito shooter. Can't shoot yet.
Now, you can't talk about the Sega 32X core um, and not talk about Sergei. So I will take a moment to do just this and make you aware of this. So Sergei, SRG320 underscore, he's the author of this core and also some others. Among them is the Sega Saturn core, which he's working on. And yeah, I think this, this really deserves so much recognition to his achievement and also to the hardship he's going through. So as you can see, Sergei is uh, living in Ukraine, as we all know, is currently going through a war. And yeah, Sergei, he's living in the northeastern part um, called Bil Bilokuraknia. Sorry, I... yeah. And uh, as he uh, commented since early March, he's under Russian occupation and you have to really you have to respect this that he is uh, under occupation and still is able to work on cores and actually release cores uh, especially something like the 32x so this deserves all the respect um, yeah so I, I'm, I'm, I'm always speechless um, and therefore I think it's only fair to point out that he is having a patreon which I'm also a member of and um, yeah, the guy deserves all the, all the support we as a community can give him. So if you are not a patron yet, you should really consider becoming one. Thank you. You know what time it is. Yo, homie, peep there. Tempo, check it out. You know he makes it funky and he's good to go. Oh, Catch the move from New York, L.A. and San Francisco. There you go, that's the SIGA 32X core for you. I hope you have a lot of fun with it, explore the catalog and yeah, stick with it as the core matures, as the bugs get squished out one by one. And yeah, see you next time, bye bye.